What's up, guys? You know what it is. My name is Zach, and uh, actually, you're bro, Zach. I actually just changed the channel name up a little bit, and um, I wanted to get you guys the first gameplay of this series. So you're going to see here, we're going to go through Kansas State versus number 13, Tennessee, and first play of the game, negative five yards by Chris Patton. Now, if you, did, if you didn't watch our uh, setup video, we went over, um, I basically simulated the first year um, because it was all of the year of 2020 rosters and 2021 rosters. So I'm trying to get to the 2021, 2022 season. So I basically just simulated a lot of the gameplay, pretty much the entire season. And we didn't have a bad year. I was hoping for more of a down year, but, um, that's all right. Uh, and then we brought in some players obviously from recruiting and Chris Patton, our starting running back is one of those guys. As you remember, Chris Patton was an athlete that we brought in, and now he is set up as running back because pretty much everybody at running back was gone. We brought in three other running backs, but they were all below 70 overall. Um, the only other good one so far was uh, Tyler Washington, and you'll see a lot of gameplay from him later on. So you're going to see here from our first possession, but we really didn't do a ton on uh, offense here, and we had to kick it out kick it out to uh, Kansas State right away. Now you're going to see something really cool in my opinion was that Brent Venables actually left Clemson as a defensive coordinator and he's been there for a while now and before that he was with the OU but he comes back to the Big 12 as the head coaching position at Kansas State. That's pretty interesting. He's going to start off his head coaching career at Kansas State to see. Uh, let's see how that goes. Um, that might be a storyline to watch in the future years as well. So Some of these guys who who get promoted um, these big time coordinators get promoted into a head coaching spot because in reality they they probably will at some point get to be a head coach because of their knowledge and um, their expertise really is what it is oh man and uh, right there they just totally overthrow through the receiver that was running a streak route that's a big thing that I think we've got to address in this team is cornerbacks I feel like uh, cornerbacks can make or break your season and uh, your entire defense to be honest with you the um, cornerbacks that we have right now, they're okay. A lot of them are upperclassmen, so going into next season, we're going to probably lose a lot of we're going to lose a lot of them. So we need to make sure that we're recruiting in and bringing in better uh, cornerbacks. And uh, Chris Patton gets another carry, three yard rush, just to get the first down. No big deal. Second rush, and he's still in negative yardage. Uh, let's see here what we do here <clears throat> on first down. New set of downs right now. Uh, Five thirty-five left to go in the seat in the quarter. Uh, and Harrison Bailey sees something. He sees single coverage on the outside, changes it to uh, the five verticals or four verticals, and uh, runs it. Oh, and he gets sacked. X was wide open, and so was B, was B was wide open as well. Couldn't get it to him fast enough. Now you're going to see here, look at his left tackle. He just doesn't even pick up his assignment at all with that blindside hit. That's not going to That's not going to be acceptable on this team. You cannot do that. you got to catch your blocks. Um, Harrison Bailey might have needed to change up that blocking scheme a little bit, but uh, that's something that we'll work on in practice, of course. Uh, the little dump off pass to our speedster, Jalen Wyatt, uh, Hyatt, excuse me. You're going to see he had a pretty uh, interesting game, and I think he's going to have a really good season, to be honest with you. He's extremely fast. Um, if I remember correctly, it's uh, 99 overall speed, uh, and that's from the rosters that were given to us. Uh, definitely was not created with any of these rosters. I didn't uh, change anybody's attributes or anything like that whatsoever. Uh, and then he misses that corner route. That's a shame because that could have been a big play right there for us. Uh, and now we have to turn over the ball to uh, over on uh, third down. We punted, and now uh, our defense comes back to play. Now, our defense has been pretty good so far, uh, especially stopping the run. And, oh, he misses his wide open guy. Harris misses his wide open guy right in the middle. That would have been at least... 15 yards 12 to 15 yards further he had a lot of uh rack after that so um let's see what else we can do here oh misses him again see these these quarterbacks are kind of thrown all over the place right now one of four for three yards that's not going to get you anything so that's fourth down and uh we punted and, and uh harrison bailey's got the option read and he t keeps it himself runs for 10 yards now harrison bailey um, I didn't really think of him as a, as a big scrambler, but we're going to see what he can do uh, this season because you might have to utilize him because we're so weak at running back right now. We might have to utilize him a lot more for uh, our running game. Oh, my goodness, and he misses a wide-open guy again. He had three guys in the middle there. I think he, if he threw it to any of them, he would have gotten it, but 
because he just didn't have enough time. That's a problem. And you're going to see here, Tennessee runs a lot of spread, at least in this playbook. I'm using their playbook, uh, but I didn't change any of their plays. Usually I'll use a custom playbook, but because we're trying to do a realistic rebuild, I didn't really uh, want to mess with any of that too much, to be honest with you. So, uh, And then Malachi Weidman had a big catch there, big curl route. Got us the first down, new set of downs, with about three minutes left. Oh, that should have been intercepted, but he gets it anyways. Four-yard reception, screen route. I should never have thrown that ball. Um, I saw the press coverage, but uh, I guess they played just a tad bit too aggressive, and we were able to get that ball in there. And Malachi Weidman again for the third catch in a row gets us the first down. This time we do another screen, but it'll be a, an under screen or mid screen to, uh, to get the first down. Really interesting play call so far. And we see Hyatt in one-on-one uh, -on -one coverage out there, but he gets tripped up. Oh, and that should have been intercepted, to be honest with you. Gosh, yeah. He had Malachi Weidman, but I saw, or I'm sorry, uh, Hyatt, but he, uh, I saw the safety kind of floating over there, so I didn't want to throw it to B. And I thought that corner out would be open, but I didn't put enough air on it. You really, have those throws, he's got to he's gotta float those in there. And nice curl, back. and a spin! Oh, my God. 20-yard spin. 20-yard uh uh, receiving yards. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. Smooth as that. Jesus. That was nice. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does, to be honest with you, because that was, that was smooth as heck. Alright, first and goal. Now, uh, again, this is where our running game should come into play. Uh, we don't have great running backs, but Tyler Washington right here is our power back that we got in recruiting last season. And he only gets us a yard for his first carry of the season. That's all right. I think we'll probably just go back to it, especially that they're set up in this 4-3, it looks like. Um, and Harrison Bailey sees something. I guess he sees that their interior defense isn't that great right now. He calls an audible, and Tyler Washington looks like he's going to get a second chance at this thing. Puts punt in uh, motion. Oh, he gets stuffed again. But there's a flag on the field. Let's see what this one's about, guys. Face mask on the defense. Yep, that's right. First and goal again. We get three new, three more chances, and we're set up in the Wildcat. Chris Patton, our athlete, is set up. Looks like he might be uh, running this one. Let's go. Oh, he gets stuffed. Not negative two yards. My gosh. Their, uh, their defense isn't doing too bad at all on us, especially that running game so far. Hopefully that will open up later in the game. But for now, we just can't do anything. Second and goal. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Looks like they're going to try to run this ball, or pass this ball, excuse me, in the shotgun. And Harrison Bailey sees a few things. He's calling some audibles. Oh, that should have been intercepted too. That's like the second pass that should have been intercepted. Come on. 8 for 12 for 72 yards. He's got to pick that up. Um, that's not a terrible passing ratio, but he can't. These, these incompletions are like really freaking close to uh, pick sixes just about. All right, and they're gonna they're gonna put. Looks like they're gonna put Patton in the wheel route right here. They can put him in uh, motion. And B. Oh, Hyatt just dropped the touchdown. Man, that should have been six right there. Totally dropped it that. Dropped that. All right, fourth and goal. 17 seconds left. Yeah, they're not playing around anymore. They're gonna try to get this on fourth goal. This makes sense. Josh Heupel is trying to be pretty aggressive. And where's he gonna go? Oh, and three receivers there. Not a single one catches the ball. Incomplete pass. That should have been pick, uh, touchdown as well. That should have been six points on the board, but he can't get it. That defense did play good, but those last two plays we just dropped touchdowns. They either dropped the interceptions or we dropped the touchdowns, one of the two. So it wasn't a very pretty drive for either team. All right, so first and ten on like their third or fourth yard line. And big hit. Big hit against Joshua Youngblood. Now, Joshua Youngblood... Is a really talented receiver at Kansas State, uh, and he's going to have a lot. He's going to be really involved in this game plan, I feel like. Uh, second and 13, like on the half-inch yard line uh, on their uh, the goal line. So what are we going to do? Well, let's probably bring in the pressure, and Fields almost jumps that snap, uh, and Harris gets it, and he keeps it, and he gets a three-yard rush to kind of make up for that first down play. That's all right. That's all right. Third down, just don't give up. Um, a passing play here. Uh, don't give up a, a completion, but we got to really put the pressure on them. Fields is going to try to jump with a snap again. Hypo's calling that aggressive defense. They're going to hand it off to Knowles, 
Oh, and gets stopped. Man, that was really close because he did have some running room. If he could have broken a tackle or two um, more, uh, he would have probably gotten that. So big punt here on fourth and two. Kicks it to uh, Alante Taylor, our return man. Gets a couple seams and uh, runs it for 13 yards. Not bad. Good, good kick. We're on our side of the field now. That's a good way to start up the next possession. Second quarter of the first play for our, for us, the second quarter. And Chris Patton finds running room. Oh, my goodness, 15 yards. He should have had that for longer. That was wide open. And I think he'll get better at that. He just has to improve a little bit better um, and get a little bit faster and a little bit stronger. And I think next the next season or later in the season, he might be able to break those for full tu full for full on touchdowns. And we're going to go back to Chris Patton right here. Another, another was it, 12 yards, 12-yard 12 rush. Go back to to what's working right now. Chris Patton is is showing off right now here in the second quarter to start the second quarter, and uh, we've got B open. And like the third time they drop this interception, Harrison Bailey's just asking to be picked off. I promise you guys, my sliders are are pretty high up for the CPU. I just uh, went over all those in the setup video, so if you haven't seen that, check that out, guys. All right, so we were gonna run. It looks like Harrison Bailey did call for a. Um, bubble screen uh, but that's pretty close to guarded on the line of scrimmage so he's going to throw a slant routes but incomplete not even close and it looks like we've got pass interference on the offense yeah that was that was that was our fault we had a brain fart there looks like um they're gonna they might be trying to attack the end zone right here in the shotgun second and 20 oh my goodness overthrown him he, he i think he had a little bit of space right there to drop that ball in but he couldn't get there there. He couldn't get it there. Um, all right, and the five wide. B is wide open. He should have thrown it like five seconds sooner, it feels like, but there's the interception. It was bound to happen. He kept making terrible reads, and, uh, he, yeah, that was just – that was awful. All right, first and ten, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Let's power line up right here. Going to hand it off. No, play action pass. Wide open to the tight end. What a great play. That was fantastic. I was thinking that they're going to run it with that power. So just like this, they're going to probably run it again. And another another uh, play action pass. And we missed the tackle. Two tackles. Three tackles. Good grief, guys. Man, we're getting pressure. We just couldn't get that sack there. They're going to run with the hurry up offense, as you can see here. That's, uh, that's something that we don't run too often in the SEC. We do run it sometimes, but not, not too crazy, not too crazy about it. And uh, that's obviously seems like that's going to be a weakness of ours is stopping the hurry-up offense because they just keep on running it at this point. Another five-yard gain by Joe Irvin. Looks like they're going to put their tight end in motion, running the speed route, speed option, stop for two-yard run. That's all right. That's all right. Third and three. You got to get them on third down. Here we go. Pick. Oh, J.J. Peterson. Let's go. Looks like he's got all the room in the world to return this one. Oh, number seven is catching up on him, though. Breaks the tackle. Number 12. Breaks the tackle, too. Touchdown, Tennessee. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What a big play. Pick six. How to start off your first touchdown in this rebuild season pick six by jj peterson what a stud in real life too what a stud breaks the first tackle breaks the second tackle man he had to be gas get this guy some oxygen that is that is absolutely wild you can tell the tennessee fans in the stadium are are going wild it's, and uh smoky's loving it too all those frat boys excited as heck right now <laughs> All right, so we made the extra point. Let's go for the kickoff. Taylor returns it. Oh, good cut. Oh, my God. That was a devastating stiff arm. Let's look at the team defense. 71 yards, average of four yards, one interception. That's not bad. I want their uh, average yards to come down a bit, but that's all right. That's all right. Our offense hasn't really done a ton yet, so... Okay, they had some options there. They get it to a right star player for about an eight-yard gain. Yeah, eight-yard gain. Yep. More hurry-up offense. Pump fakes. 
Overthrows it. Yeah, he really just throws it away. Good defense. Good defense. None of these, uh, neither of my, uh, neither of these running uh, quarterbacks are really doing too much, to be honest with you. Oh, almost gets the offsides. Runs it right up the gut, and oh, gets stopped fourth and in inches. Number thirty. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I think that was Roman Harrison. I couldn't see the jersey. Read option. Oh, gives it hands off to Chris Patton. Breaks the tackle. Gets about a six yard gain. Okay, that's that's what we need. Our, I'm really impressed by what Chris Patton is doing so much, doing right now. So let's just keep feeding uh, him the ball. Good offside, out, outside tackle run. Sit another six yard run. That's exactly what we need in this offense. Just keep getting those six yard runs, five to six yard runs. I'm happy with that. Putting Chris Patton in the wheel route again. That's my, one of my favorite audibles to run on uh, running backs. And wow, I don't know where he was going. Harrison Bailey was going with that one. Ten incompletions to eight completions. That's not going to be good. Yep, second and ten. About four minutes left to go. If we can get another first down, we probably want to do our four-minute offense and just kind of milk a lot of clock. And uh, Tyler Washington gets another carry, and that's another two-yard rush. He hasn't done too much so far. Uh, third down, 0-4 oh for third down conversions. That's not that's gonna, not going to be too good. we got to improve that, obviously. B is wide open. Oh, and he airs it out for the big play, and nobody was catching that one. That was... At least eight eight yards out. Nobody was catching up to that one. All right, back on defense. Let's see what we can do here. I don't usually pressure so much, but they keep running these uh, power defense op, uh, formations and on my or power offensive formations. So I'm worried that they're going to just break a big run. So I've got to press some of those safeties and bring those safeties up a little bit. Uh, good run though, and they're going to go right back to the option again. Okay, that was a good play. That was 11-yard play by Bart Harris. That was fast. It's pretty fast. So I probably need to start spying or doing or bringing these uh, ends out to watch for that. Okay, six yard, five yard gain. Excuse me. More hurry up offense. It's just kind of hard to get set because I'm not really used to this. Oh, big play! Come on now. That's gonna get the defense ready to go. Whitehead, let's go. Two tackles, one tackle for a loss. That's a big time play right there. Oh, it looks like they're running the screen route. He's got it, but he doesn't uh, doesn't convert the first down, or doesn't convert to the first down. Excuse me. Two minute offense, two ten left to go. Oh my goodness, another overthrown ball. That is wild. We got to really get back to, to practice with uh, Harrison Bailey. He's a young quarterback. Um, again, I, I did, did decide to use him in uh, this season. We're going to see what he can do. And you guys are going to notice, this is kind of funny, how big Harrison Bailey's arms are in this game. <laughs> like, I don't know how. I went to this profile to change his arm size, and it didn't do anything. He's got massive arms. I don't know if it's just, like, the character build or what. Anybody that has his build is going to look like that, but... I, I don't know. But anyway, it's not that big of a deal. But he looks like a dang linebacker with those freaking tree trunk as arms. It's pretty wild. All right, here we go. So we've got to convert this third and 15. I'm, I was debating whether running like a draw and making them use their second timeout or airing it out. And we air it out to Jay Lowe. And he gets, a, what is that, 40 yards? 40-yard reception. Big gain. This has to be the best throw that Harrison Bailey's thrown all day long. Just puts a lot of air under this because that's what you need to do. If you if you bullet this ball in there, number 17 right there, uh, or number 9, I think it was number 9 also there, was going to just, number 4, excuse me, there he is, could have caught up to that. And uh, that was a perfectly thrown ball. Second second best throw. No, I'd say that's the best throw so far in this game. God, another sack. Nine-yard loss. Yeah, we, Josh Hypo has to call timeout for that to regroup. That's just a lot of uh, negative yardage on first down. Oh, gets uh, Weidman again. What a spin! Oh, my God. Gets a 21-yard gain. Ma Malachi Weidman is really coming into his own. He might be. I was thinking uh, Hyatt. He's a, I think he's a freshman or sophomore. Uh, no, I think he's a freshman. I thought he was going to be the go-to man, but Malachi Weidman is, uh, again... That's like five catches in the first half. He's really showing off this this half. He's really been the only consistent part of this this offense, this uh, 
passing offense at least. Chris Patton with another handoff. You just got to kind of keep him honest here, so we run a little bit of a draw right here, or delayed handoff. 37 yards rushing in the first half isn't bad. Okay, runs that uh, halfback, halfback angle for the first down, and we get a face mask. I'll take that. We're already getting the first down, but now we just get a little bit closer to the goal line. 47 seconds left in the game. The clock has stopped. Tyler Washington, our power guy, gets up. Oh, so stinking close. Five-yard rush. He should have gotten in. He should have kept powering. But maybe, you know, he's just a freshman. Maybe uh, when he gets a little bit more size on him, he'll, he'll finish those off a little bit better in the future. Chris Patton lined up as the halfback. Looks like Harrison Bailey's just going to milk a little bit of clock right here. Hands it off. Oh, get stopped on the one-yard line again. Oh, my gosh. All right, third time is a charm. Here we go. You got to get it in right here. Callaway on the motion. Looks like they're going to be stretch or toss. Callaway back in motion. Seals the edge. Chris Patton with a touchdown. Let's go. One-yard run. One-yard run. Let's go. Number five, baby. Number five. Look at that smoke you do his dance. Do your dance. Do your dance. That's right. Big touchdown. First touchdown of this uh, running back's career. Let's see how. Uh, the, okay, here we go. Second second quarter, nine, sec, nine seconds left to go. They should just be running the ball here. Put some man in motion. They're in a power formation. Oh, my goodness. He cuts it into the right. Gets a good cut and uh, finishes off at five yards. They call a timeout. Looks like they might be airing it out, so I'm going to just play pass cover just to be on the safe side. And uh, he can't, he's running away. Oh! Gets stopped for eight yards. Eight-yard sack by uh, Daryl Middleton. Nice job. I think that's our senior guy. So at halftime, 14-0, guys. Um, I wouldn't say that we're dominating this game at all. Without that pick six, this would be an extremely, extremely close game. Only one possession game. And since we received the ball the first half, we're going to go ahead and kick it off to number 13 here, Taylor, and uh, he's not going to take it out of the end zone. Let's take a look at our defensive stats again. 97 yards, 3 uh, yards per average, a sack, and an interception. That's pretty similar to those numbers that I just showed you um, in the second quarter, but uh, obviously a little bit better now because um, we've had a few more possessions, a few more three and outs. I don't know if they've – yeah, I think they have converted one three, a third down conversion now. Big run. And there we go. Jacardio Wright with the 12-yard gain. My goodness. All right, so we're gonna we're playing a lot of man here. I don't know if I would typically play a lot of man during the regular season, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's the reason why I don't play a lot of man. All right, and Alante Taylor's our last line of defense, and he gets it. Shoestring tackle if there ever was one. My gosh. That was a big time play. That dude is fast. All right, let's go here. Big play. J.J. Peterson stops the run. Wright is not going to get another big time run up the middle for us. I think J.J. Peterson really, he's not a, he's not an impact player according to so far, but I think Daryl Middleton and Alante Taylor are. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I don't actually know. I don't think it's Alante Taylor. I think it's the other guy. Um, I forget his name right now. But um, I think Daryl Middleton is going to be a really, really big leader, especially the fact that we just we don't have Crouch anymore. We don't have Henry Toa Toa anymore either. That's his that's his job to take, you know. We did bring in a few linebackers though in this recruiting class from last season. We're probably gonna have to bring them in because of injuries at some point during the season. So let's see how they do it. But hopefully he can get off to a really hot start. And another sack. Let's go. Kurt Karat Garland. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, buddy. At least your first name. Big time play. What a big guy. Alright, so here it is, fourth and nineteen. Try to get some points on the board at this point. Kicks the field goal. That might look short. That is short. No good. Field goal is missed. That's a heartbreaker. And that's their freshman kicker, too. Misses, the fir misses his first field goal attempt of the season. That's rough. And a big game, too. All right. So let's get this third quarter started with our offense. Looks like Harrison Bailey sees a few things. He's going to call some audibles here. Three seconds, two seconds. Got to call the snap. There we go. Airs it out. Hi, yeah. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Let's go. 
What a big play. That's an 80-yard touchdown reception. Good God, that dude is so fast. That's our speedster. That's our outside guy right there. And that's that's all Harrison Bailey to see that call that audible. When he sees that man-to-man -man coverage, he's got to he's got to call that uh, audible and, and uh, get that ball to them. That is a big play, dude. Twenty-one nothing, really. Yeah. Offense at a glance. Wow. With that play, it really did spark our numbers up pretty high. Otherwise, we're pretty even. Uh, Two hundred sixty-seven pa uh, total yards now. That's that's wild. All right, this full house set. Right with another good run. Seven yards, six yards, yep. Another good run. Second to four, they're running this hurry-up offense. we got to get back. Don't have time for substitutions. Oh, oh, we well, got a flag. That's a, looks like it was a face mask. Yep, that's a lot of face masks we have today. 15 yards in the first down. All right, play action again. They are running this play action really well. He's got all time to throw. Wide open, wide open. Wheeler, Samuel Wheeler, 18-yard catch. That really, if he could have kept that in bounds, that would have been probably 25 to 30 yards, to be honest with you. Hand off to the right side, and that's not going anywhere. Minus two yards, three yards, excuse me. Travion Flowers, let's go, buddy. I should have had that first tackle, but that's all right. As long as we have that help defense and we're we're getting open field tackles, then that's that's okay with me. And as long as that second guy's coming in too to help, that first tackle if we can't get it, at least slow him down. All right, another ten yard gain, third and three. <clears throat> Gets a lot of those yardage from the first down back. We're gonna take Bryce Thompson over here. See if we can get anything right here. Nothing. Oh, he misses a touchdown. That should have been six right there. Wide open. See, that's the thing. That's why I don't really always like to play press coverage. But third and three, I kind of had to. I thought they were going to run the ball. All right, freshman kicker with a second kick of the day. That's short again. That's no good. 0 for 2 freshman debut. That's not good. Come on. Man, so they, they – Kansas State would very well be – very much be well into this game if they would have converted a few. They overthrew, I think, on two different occasions now, um, touchdowns really, and then um, two missed field goals. That's that's a lot because if you don't convert those touchdown passes, at least get the field goals, but they, they're not even doing that. We're going to run the screen route, and that stopped. That brings up third and nine. Harrison Bailey's having not a great game, but we're converting. Looks like two of seven on third down conversions. All right, looks like that they're running a zone. Nope, they're running man here. And floats that ball to Chris Padden. There you go. That's how you throw that ball. You got to float it over that, that defense. If you don't float it, it's going to be an interception. Oh, just like that. Man, that was a late read. That was really late. And Kansas State might just be back in this game here. That's his second interception. Come on, Harrison. Man, he just bit that, too. That route. He just bit that route. Oh, 50-50 ball. Oh, touchdown. God, that was 50. Joshua Youngblood. That, I feel like we're going to keep saying his name because he's really good. That was a 50-50 ball. Look at this. What a good throw. Airs it up a little bit. I mean, he was there. Lonte Taylor was there. He just, you know, it's 50-50. Either that's a tip or an interception or more than likely it's a tip ball or a completion um, or it's a touchdown. His position was right behind him, so I guess that makes sense. So, no big deal. Lonte Taylor, though, making it up, though, with this. Oh, my gosh, this run return. That's like 40, 56 yards. Good grief. Putting him back into field position. All right, I can dig it, though. Give up that 50-50 play, and you put us back at beyond the 50-yard line the very next possession. I like that. All right, and it looks like we got a false start on the offensive line. That's all right. We've got a young team, to be honest with you, so we're going to have simple penalties just like that, to be honest with you. All right, what does Harrison see here? He sees the Y. Yep, a little flat route to Chris Patton. Oh, quick uh, double move right there. 
And now Harrison Bailey is over 250 yards or, uh, passing now. Looks like that was Chris Patton's fourth catch. Um, that might be an interesting dynamic is if Chris Patton can be our receiving back. But he's also our, our starting back too. So unless Tyler Washington really shows out, it looks like this is Chris Patton's job at running back, starting running back. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you guys like what Chris Patton is bringing to this team right now. All right, red zone. Here we go. Oh, and a sack. My God, 11 yards. The problem is when Harrison Bailey gets sacked, <laughs> he gets sacked by like minus like 9, 10, 11, 12 yards every single time. That's not going to be good. So let's keep him honest. Let's run this um, screen route to Chris Patton. Oh, my goodness. That gets stopped really quickly. Third and 21. Third and eight. We probably need to play it safer here. Probably don't want to do anything crazy. But, I mean, they are kind of close up on the line, to be honest with you. Looks like Harrison Bailey has seen something. Oh, J-Lo gets it. Not quite enough. 20-yard gain. Jackson Lowe's been pretty good, too. Four yards. Or four receptions, excuse me, 87 yards. 21 yards a catch. Okay, I can dig it. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves going on on fourth down in the red zone again. And it looks like he's going to hand off to Chris Patton. Chris Patton gets the first down. That's right. That's right. Now he's over 40 yard, 42 yards rushing. And his debut, man, that's really good. I, I think it's good. And when you add in his receiving uh, utilization as well, too. Oh, nice cut, Tyler Washington. It looks like he got another face mask. I'm probably going to have to change that face mask uh, tendency down a little bit because that's... That's a lot. <laughs> I think we've had like six or seven face masks this game. So I'm going to change that next game. So hopefully, I mean, I'm not going to change any of the sliders. I'm just going to change like the penalties and stuff. I think false starts can go up and enroachments. I think enroachments can be up or it might be offsides. Uh, one of those two can probably go up on the defensive side and then false starts as well. But face masks, that's like been every single penalty except for like two of them. All right, Chris Patton right up the gut. His second rushing touchdown. Two-yard gain. Second rushing touchdown of his rookie debut. And again, if you saw that uh, uh, setup video, I put Chris Patton at number five because I'm a huge Reggie Bush fan. I just think running backs that were number five in video games tend to be pretty elite. So I've got high hopes for him, especially the fact that he's going to have a lot of volume this season. So if you, uh, if you put him on your college fantasy football teams, you'd be sure to add him because I'm going to give him plenty of uh, volume. <laughs> All right, so second and 13. Two minutes left in the third. Kansas State really has to get something going here. And uh, looks like they've got a pass. Nope. Straight up the gut. Let's go. This defense is just killing it. J.J. Peterson with a huge game. Seven tackles, three tackles for loss. He had that interception return for a touchdown, and then now he's got another sack. So, man, that's a big time play right there. Comes unblocked, too. Like, that's just inexperience on Kansas State side. They've got to see and read those blocks. Block, uh, I'm sorry, those rushes and um, adjust accordingly. It looks like the secondary is going to back off here in this third and 20. Makes sense. Looks like they're running four verts. And uh, another sack. Bart Harris goes down again. This time it was uh, Dominic Bailey. Two tackles, one tackle for a loss and a sack. Let's go. He sheds off the first one, though. That's the second. That's like the second or third time he's done that. I'll bring someone, bring the blitz, and the first guy won't get there in time, or he will get there, but he'll get shoved off, and the second guy is the one that cleans it up. That's okay. That's all right. But I kind of wish we'd just get it in the first time. Uh, and Alante Taylor gets it. Nice, good, good return. 19 yards, not bad at all. All right, let's see what we can do here. First and ten. Chris Patton again. I'm gonna be saying his name all day long. It seems like get the first down on that first rush. That's not bad at all. Third uh, third quarter with a minute left in the red zone. Looks like we're 50%. We got to clean that up, obviously. That just comes with more experience. Later in the season, we'll get better, I'm sure. Wide open number two. Or, I'm sorry, A. <laughs> I said number two. Callaway. I think he's a senior, too, if I remember correctly. Or a junior or something like that. Face mask again. Yeah, I got to change that setup a little bit, guys, because that's way too many. Oh, and another interception. Come on. Yeah, that was a bad play. It was kind of like an option because he saw that bubble route 
And then I think it was also a, a slant route or a hitch route <clears throat> right right above it. And he had his option, and, and they were open at first, but he didn't get it quick enough. And uh, Leonard's with another big receiving game, looks like, at the tight end position. They are just killing it with these play-action passes. One-yard sack. I'll take it. Second and 11. First play of the fourth quarter. Looks like they're running a screen route, and they can't get it off in time. That's crazy. Whenever you are in the blitz, that should stop the blitz if they can get it out quick enough, but they couldn't uh, to that halfback screen. So we were able to get that 11-yard uh, sack, it looks like, too. Man, that's brutal. All right, we're going to play off the ball a little bit here. Oh, that might have been a catch, to be honest with you. But it was either way, it was fourth down. So they punted. Let's say we got the ball back. At this point, we're probably going to start draining some of the clock here. And they've got uh, they had two guys over there, but that was just a terrible throw. Yeah, they're going to milk the clock if they can get some completed passes. You probably look to have them run the ball a little bit more. Looks like we have our second team offense and defense in too, by the way. And Kaysom Hill is in. I'm pretty sure Kaysom Hill uh, transferred, I'm pretty sure. And I forgot to cut him, though, <laughs> this offseason. Because that's what I did with a lot of players that left, like Henry Toa Toa and Crouch and those guys. They've all left. Um, but I, I just, if they didn't transfer, because I, I didn't start them last season when I was simulating everything. I was hoping to see if they would just leave to keep them in the game, but they wouldn't. So I had to just cut them. Because they didn't declare for the draft or anything because they're not eligible yet. But Kaysom Hill is one guy I forgot to do that with. So that was fourth down. Uh, first down now. It looks like there's a flag on the play. Dropped it. Man, Leonard's dropped that pass. Offsides on the defense. Yeah, I sometimes get a little antsy. That's all right. Looks like McDuffie's on the field. He's our freshman strong safety. Another sack. They can't, they can't do anything. Roman Harrison, vet, outside linebacker with a big play right there. Another screen and another sack. Another, another screen, another sack. That's crazy. They got to start getting these balls out sooner. Their, their offense has just stalled big time since halftime. Oh, except for that play, Phillip Brooks. What a speedster. Looks like a shorter guy, but a speedster at that. Man, that got him the first down on third down. All right, our safeties are playing up really high. He should have probably attacked the middle of the field, but Brooks comes back at it again. Six-yard reception. So we're playing the zone. Nope. Oh, that, I don't know. I didn't see the replay on that one, but that his foot might have been in. I don't know. I'm glad that it wasn't. <laughs> I feel like the CPUs had a few plays that they could probably challenge. Wide open, right in the middle. Taylor looks like he was running an in route. 13, 14 yard gain. Hurry up, offense. Down by three possessions. Oh, he scrambles, but nope. Another negative two-yard rush. Or uh, sack, excuse me. Kingston Harris. That's rough. Running again. Another sack, but there's a... That's obviously a, uh, pass, a uh, face mask. Aaron Beasley, yep. Yeah, hopefully next games I can change that setting a little up, a, up a little bit or down rather. We won't have so many of them. Receiver in motion, right up the gut. Harris, oh my gosh, another flag! Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's fine. Aaron Beasley with back-to-back -back face masks. That might get him benched, to be honest with you. But I'm just, I'm really uh, thin at linebacker position. Oh, yeah, that should have been caught, too. 
That should have been a touchdown. I'm just getting lucked out this game, to be honest with you. I don't think this score should really be 28-7. to It's more closer to like 21-28, to to be honest with you. They just have dropped so many touchdown passes, and they've missed two field goals. There you go. He gets the touchdown back, though. Joshua Youngblood again. Second receiving touchdown. Nice slant route, though. That was wide open. He put it right in that, that zone, that pocket that you had to put it in. One second later, my linebacker might have made it there. All right, 413 left to go to the end of this quarter. End of the game, rather. Tyler Washington gets stopped for two-yard gain. Washington's still back there in, in the backfield. Gets another handoff. This time he gets the first down and more. 14-yard rush. That's the thing. If he can break those tackles, he's supposed to be a power back. If he can break some of those tackles off, he could be really useful for us. Because Chris Patton, he can, he can break tackles too, but he's more of the elusive type guy face mask another face mask <laughs> Jesus burning some clock here get it down all the way to the one Slade Massey is another rookie running back that we've got here with a good eight-yard run now he's a third string uh, running back but he's a speed running back apparently I was actually gonna before I brought in Chris Patton I was gonna put him at uh, kind of like a pass catching back and put Tyler Washington as our main back but his catching really wasn't that good for a speed back, so that didn't work out. But Tyler Washington with another run, four-yard gain. I'll take it. I wish that they were ripping these off for a little bit more, but that's okay. Tyler Washington is just getting a lot of playing time because we put in our second team defense – or offense, excuse me. Another five-yard gain. Third and ten. Thir yeah, three out of ten for third down conversions. The handoff, and he keeps it this time. A good cutback. Nice. Yeah, looks like this game is pretty well in hand. This is the first game of our rebuild series. Truly our first game, gameplay at least. And what do you guys think? Again, I have, I mentioned this in the last video that I did have the, re -mod, the uh, revamped mod installed. Let me know what you guys think about this. In my opinion, it looks clean. And if you guys are here from TikTok from my... Um, preview that I put up there I appreciate it you guys uh, I'm just having fun with this revamp mod and I was gonna make a rebuild series anyway so I just figured I would uh, put it on YouTube and then I, I'm like addicted to TikTok so <laughs> I figured I'd put some on TikTok but thanks guys for um, staying with me I'm still trying to get the kinks out of this so if you guys have any feedback feel free to send it over to me I don't mind at all second and goal Kaysom Hill with another run but this time it's a Stopped. There you go. Casey Hill gets his uh, QB sneak in. Tennessee, baby. Let's go. And for the extra point, it's good. 35 to 14. Looks like it might be our final score. And he's going to squib it. No, he's just going to kick it off, but he's going to make sure he kicks it within bounds. So they have to run out the clock here. And that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me. Like I said, I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to stick around for the next video, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. But let's go over the final stats real quick here as we're ending this game. Harrison Bailey with 20 out of 35, 303 yards, one touchdown, but three interceptions. That's not good. As you just saw, our player of the game is Chris Patton. And uh, J.J. Peterson was a defensive player of the game. See ya.